You forgot to introduce Erica. her. Erica. No, I did. I did. No. no. Erica, everyone, Erica. Ladies and gentlemen, Erica Mendez. <laughs> you offended the people leaving. <laughs> they didn't win an Xbox S, and they're out of here. How? Wow. How sad. They? More people leaving. What the? We don't have Zika virus. <laughs> but if you stay, we'll give it to you. He wants it. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hi. And now I've made a baby cry. It's just... I'm out of here. We're all gonna go see Suicide Squad. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, Erica, tell everybody your number one favorite role and the top two favorite foods that you like. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Um, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> um, I really like a lot of roles, but I'm going to choose Yuki from Sword Art Online 2. <laughs> and favorite foods, I really like cheese pizza. Um, uh -huh. Sometimes you just gotta have it plain, you know. Thin crust or th thick? Ooh, that's tough because I'm from Chicago. Oh, so like dish. fish. The DDs. Okay. Uh, you know. The double, um, the and um, I really like Pad Thai also. Pad Thai? Okay. Pad thai. I have a friend that lives in Texas who flies in Giordano's pizza. No. Yeah. It's so expensive yeah, though. He, he, it doesn't matter. He's like four houses. It's worth it. it does, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy? Yes. I want you to tell me your least known role that they would not know, Ooh. that you think they wouldn't know. I want you to tell me one animal that you would love to make your emotional support animal. Oh my gosh, that's so Only exciting. One. All right, um, so I think the character that people uh, least know. Edward Elric. <laughs> yes, no! yes. I did my best, uh, I did my best Vic impression to do that. No, I think, but I will pick a, a, an FMA character. Um, uh, people usually are pretty shocked that I voiced Alicia in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And the animal that I would like to uh, make my support animal, and I would have to, I would have to k pick a smaller animal because I just want to be able to take an animal on planes with me. So like, it can't be a giraffe, it can't be anything very large. It's not going to fit on a plane. So I would pick a pocket monkey. Ooh, pocket monkey. <laughs> Actually, technically, you could have like a baby giraffe. It would just like it. You probably shouldn't get attached to it. Like, you just need a new baby giraffe, if you know what I mean. No, yeah, you're asking for, like, a replacement giraffe, like, every couple of... They, they grow fast. The, well, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't get attached. <laughs> no, I can't Mommy, where's she taking the grow-up giraffe? <laughs> don't look, honey, and close your ears. <laughs> That's why I have a pocket monkey. A uh, pocket yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, What did they eat? I have no idea. I just think they're... Captain terrible. Crunch. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe... Probably like, train it, yeah. Train yeah. it to eat Captain Crunch, and then it just gets malnourished and just stays small forever. No, no, no. It's sick. You just gotta, you gotta figure out what is a, a healthy diet. Maybe if you fed it Fruit Loops, would it become a rainbow pocket giraffe? Oh, uh, a, a rainbow pocket and pocket? toxic. You know those signs in California that are like, everything in this row has this chemical that causes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but it only causes, uh, it, it can only kill you in California. Like, California yeah. is the only one that has those. There, there, there are these signs in all the stores, it's all the so buildings. It's so weird. And it says it right there. There are things on this aisle that you are currently on, or this house is made of stuff that causes cancer and birth defects. In California. It's not like... It's not like, psych, at the end, or uh, do this to not get it. It just says, that's what it does. <laughs> if you're reading this sign, you are currently yeah. inhaling with chemicals. That uh, we, still, we still do it. Yeah. It's just like, everyone told you Batman vs. Superman was bad, but you still went to go see it. <laughs> I know who it is. I know you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take questions for you guys from the audience so that you, that you can hear them. And then everyone will be able to ask you their glorious questions. And then you will give them delicious answers. Wait, what is the what is the character everybody least knows you as? Or what is the villain that everybody least the knows? The villain play? that everyone least. Because you play knows. really good villains, and not a lot of people know this. Oh well, thank you. Uh, the the vi let's see the villain. I played a villain in a in a movie uh, called Absolution, and I had a really vile line I had to say to one of the female people that I captured 
and uh, I can't say it here at all, and I never want to repeat it again. But uh, it was, it, no one knows about it, and it was a time travel movie, and it was, it was pretty groovy. Um, and I broke my gun on set in a shot, and the take they used in the film was the take that had the broken gun in it, because I just kept going. And so, um, don't do that. But, uh, yeah, probably that villain. That's awesome. And, uh, let's see, it, and as far as, what's your favorite cereal? You like Special K. Okay. You have Rocky Mountain chocolate cereal. You have Cocoa Krispies. You have, and then you choose Special K. Mar marshmallow. You know you can order just the Lucky Charms marshmallow, just the marshmallows. You can order them from Amazon. Did you know that? Yes. Did you know that? You can order just the marshmallows from Amazon.com. Wait, how do you do that? You access the internet via a CPU. You type in the search engine, Amazon.com, you go to the search bar, you type Lucky Charms Marshmallows, and you can order them for $11. Oh, for $11. It's a whole bag, it's just marshmallows. It's That's big. catch, though, $11. And now how does, wait, do they just make the batch, or is somebody else buying boxes of Lucky Charms yeah. cereal, Ooh, going through Lucky Charms, I wouldn't and trust putting, that. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a really does, tedious. How does this process, that's why it's $11. $11. That's, <laughs> that's like some Foxconn that Apple phone company <laughs> building. Yeah, what's your favorite series? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. How many people love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. How many people don't like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Do you think they're wrong for not liking it? You give me a high five. There we this go. This is a room divided. What's your favorite cereal? Cocoa Pebbles. Pebbles. I like how it turns the milk chocolate. Yeah. And chemically, and you drink it, you take it chemically. Oh. What is your favorite cereal? Um, okay, I like Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Pebbles? I like it. Fruity Pebbles. All right. How many people, when they eat Captain Crunch, they cut the roof of their mouth? Is that, okay, I thought that was just me. Okay, it's you guys. Okay. Now, did you know, you guys didn't know this, but Erica is very rad for being here with us this weekend for you guys because she just came back from a convention in the UK and she's not feeling great, so she's and on she's this panel. she's going to one next weekend. She's going to one next weekend. And so, how many people have been overseas to the UK? Anybody? You've been, where did you go? Where did you go? Tell me. England, Ireland, Wales, and France. England, it was full house. England, what was your favorite place? Why? It was so green. So healthy. <laughs> green and healthy? What restaurants were you, were you eating at? Because when I was there, I saw a lot of unhealthy things. What, what, what was your favorite thing that you ate? There's a steak lamb stew. It was really good. They also have these fresh strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> they have these really fresh strawberries. Like, literally, like, puffin' Puff and Cove with little puffins, like a ton of puffins. So you had nice lamb stew. So it was like the lamb was like, "Go ahead, eat me. I'm in stew." You're like, "You're such a nice lamb. I will devour your soul." <laughs> so Erica, when you were there, did you have like a meal that you were like, "Wow, this is"? Because I know in the UK it's difficult to find nicely seasoned food. But did you find uh, something? I, you know, I've heard that, but like everything I had was pretty good. I think um, I'm trying to think of exactly what I had that was really good, but. Um, I remember having a, a bag of chips that was pretty good too. <laughs> what was the flavor of chips? It was like red pepper and sweet chili. Do you like spicy stuff? 